sitting down at my computer having a computer science lab due in 15 hours. I was trying to understand what the heck recursion was and how the heck I would implement it into my lab. All I have to do is write a function which receives a string and looks for the vowels and returns those vowels. It's pretty simple, right? Not so simple for me. Sitting at my desk for three hours, I gave up and asked myself, what the heck is this class used for? Video idea. Majoring in computer science has been on the rise since I was like five years old. And as a result from the increase within the industry, desirable programming skills have been on the exponential rise and on the growth, which is great for those who know how to program. But if you're like me and you can't even understand a simple concept such as recursion, are you going to be able to succeed in the technology field? Is programming needed for cybersecurity jobs? To answer this question, I think we first must consider uh, what the definition of programming is. And after giving the context of programming, how we can apply this to a cybersecurity career. I am in by no means an expert within the industry. These are just my own opinions and what I have witnessed and experienced so far within the industry. There's a real difference between programming and or coding and scripting. And this video considers programming, not really scripting or coding. Programming is more complex than coding or scripting. Learning about recursion, for instance, is more of a programming concept. Not that you can't learn recursion when it comes into the context of coding or scripting. But programming really considers the implementation of logic, complex structures, and critical parameters. Whereas when you're coding or scripting, it's like displaying an image on a screen. It's not that complex. It's just maybe one or two lines of code. Programming isn't necessarily all about the computer languages you know, but rather how you approach a particular problem. Often I hear within the programming community, I'm not saying I'm part of the programming community, is that it's not about the programming languages you know when it comes to learning programming, but often how you approach a particular problem. If you can successfully align your approach to a certain problem and implement uh, the same concepts, the same computer science concepts uh, to this problem as you would for any other problem in any other language, the programming language won't really matter. It, it becomes obsolete. Now, sure, there are languages that are better than others for certain types of tasks. I'm not saying that. But for real programmers, the debate between which programming language to use is really not one that you need to have. Because once you know how to learn, how, now once you know how to program, you, you can learn a language pretty quickly. So there's a real difference between programmers and what I would consider coders uh, or scripters. And having the knowledge of scripting, for instance, isn't the same uh, as being a full scale or a full stack programmer. And, and differentiating between uh, these two types of, of skills or, or jobs or whatever, I think is a very uh, good key area of concern and an important idea to consider. A lot of pressure is placed on us students to learn how to program today. If you don't know a certain computer programming language, will you be able to succeed in a field like cybersecurity? Now, programming is used in cybersecurity, and I'm not saying it's not used in cybersecurity, but it will totally depend on the kind of position you are going to want to pursue. And, and the key word to remember there is position. Uh, depending on what type of position you are seeking, programming may or may not be required or necessary to learn. Cybersecurity positions such as the security code auditor or a security software developer will be uh, and will be working with code every day and it's going to require a strong base. As both of these titles allude to, you'll be working directly with programs every day, ensuring that proper security measures and controls are set into place to make the system more secure overall. Understanding how to search for vulnerable code or vulnerably written programs and replacing this, these with more secure programming practices and methods will be one really core responsibility in these jobs. And so 
knowing how to program is very important. Now, security code auditors or a security software developer like positions are, are not the only types of jobs or positions that are going to be required or necessary to learn programming. So even for job positions and titles such as like a penetration tester or a security engineer may need to have a good foundational base in programming. Because you will be defending or attacking or implementing overall uh, security of a system, programming may come in handy uh, for positions like these. But really the important part to remember when it comes to all of this is what type of position you want to pursue. And depending on that type of position, it may or may not be required. So who should learn programming if they are interested on the security side of the industry? Well, in my opinion, when considering the definition of programming as we outlined in the beginning of the video, those who are interested in being a security code auditor, uh, some sort of security software developer, or even a software developer in general, and maybe some types of pen testers uh, may need or should learn programming. But other types of cybersecurity positions, such as incident responders, network security engineers, uh, vulnerability managers, compliance and governance uh, analysts, and even security managers may not really need to uh, have a great idea or, of, or how, of how to program. Now, I'm not saying that they shouldn't know how to program, but I'm just saying that it isn't usually required. The majority of cybersecurity professionals are not really systematically implementing the logic behind how programs are being written. Uh, oftentimes, they're just in there for the review and making sure that they are following proper security measures and controls when they're writing the code. Uh, so oftentimes, when, when it comes to actually writing this code, it's going to be a software engineer, a software developer, or just some particular type of developer who will actually write the secure code. Now, does this mean that you should never learn how to program? And you don't have to worry about any type of programming language or in, in cybersecurity. Well, no, of course not. It's never going to hurt you uh, to learn how to program. But I do believe that a lot of students often associate programming as the representation of the entire industry. But in reality, that's false. And I think it really depends on the different type of path uh, or position you want to pursue uh, when it comes to cybersecurity. And so this is the really the important idea to remember. Where do you want to direct your personal path for security? Programming in cybersecurity isn't tied to a specific computer programming language. As stated before, uh, languages have different UK use cases and some are better than others. Oftentimes, we will see programming languages C, C++, Python, PHP, and JavaScript being used for security related purposes. But again, this doesn't mean that these are the only languages being used for or within the cybersecurity industry. Now, even if you are not trying to learn programming as much as more of you're trying to learn scripting, I would recommend that you look into learning one of these languages, and particularly Python. Uh, other scripting languages such as Bash and PowerShell are also good examples if you're looking to get into the scripting side over more of the particular programming side of, of security. Uh, so it really just depends on what you're trying to do, but uh, I would recommend starting out with one of those languages uh, because those are often seen within the security industry. Okay. I'll admit it, I have no idea what I'm doing when it comes to solving this recursion problem. But what I will say is that depending on the type of position you want to pursue in cybersecurity, programming may or may not be relevant, meaning you may or may not need to know how to solve this recursion problem. But it's still good to put problem solving skills. But if you guys have enjoyed today's video, uh, please consider subscribing. Uh, this is, these are my thoughts on programming in cybersecurity. And uh, until the next video, keep programming.